हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू सौरव सर्स क्लासेस द क्वेश्चन इज इफ अल्फा बीटा एंड गामा आर द रूट्स ऑफ एक्स क्यूब माइनस पी एक्स प्लस क्यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो देन द वैल्यू ऑफ द डिटर्मिनेंट अल्फा बीटा गामा बीटा गामा अल्फा एंड गामा अल्फा बीटा इज सो नाउ सिंस अल्फा बीटा एंड गामा आर द रूट्स ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन वी गेट alpha into beta into gamma is equal to minus q alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is equal to minus p and alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to 0 now this determinant is equal to alpha into beta gamma minus alpha squared plus beta into alpha gamma minus beta squared plus gamma into alpha beta minus gamma squared which is equal to 3 alpha beta gamma minus alpha cube plus beta cube plus gamma cube now we know that alpha plus beta plus gamma cube is equal to alpha cube plus beta cube plus gamma cube plus 3 alpha beta squared plus 3 alpha squared beta plus 3 beta gamma squared plus 3 beta squared gamma plus 3 alpha gamma squared plus 3 alpha squared gamma plus 6 alpha beta gamma which is equal to alpha cube plus beta cube plus gamma cube plus 3 alpha beta alpha plus beta plus gamma plus 3 beta gamma alpha plus beta plus gamma plus 3 alpha gamma alpha plus beta plus gamma minus 3 alpha beta gamma which is equal to alpha cube plus beta cube plus gamma cube minus 3 alpha beta gamma plus 3 alpha beta plus beta alpha plus alpha gamma into alpha plus beta plus gamma but alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to 0 so since this equals 0 this whole thing whole thing becomes zero so we are left with and this was also zero since alpha plus beta plus gamma is zero so we are left with alpha cube plus beta cube plus gamma cube minus 3 alpha beta gamma is equal to zero so which is the value of the determinant so the correct option is option c the next question is the number of ordered pairs x y where x and y are n cross n real matrices such that x y minus y x is equal to i is now suppose x y minus y x is equal to i oh C x into C inverse y minus C inverse y into C x is equal to C C inverse x y minus C inverse C y x. That is x y minus y x is equal to i.
therefore if there is one solution there are infinitely many such combin such ordered pairs but trace of x y minus y x is equal to 0 and trace of i is equal to n so there are no ordered pairs x y so the correct option is option a that is 0